today I am getting my seed ordering started. I should have had it done already, but uh, life's been pretty busy. You guys know how that goes. So I have to get it done today because some of the flowering annuals that I want to seed and try out and grow and have ready by the time we plant outdoors, they need to be seeded now. So I better get started. The other day I already went through Johnny's, Harris, and Park. So I wrote down everything that I'm going to order. So that way now I just have to go on their website, type it in, and plop it right into the cart. My first stop is Johnny's. There it is. Gotta get my order started. The first thing on my list is those Peter Wilcox potatoes. I don't know if you guys remember those from a video I did last year, my first year growing potatoes. Um, the growth went really well, the whole experiment. It went really well, so I did everything I was supposed to do. So I obviously did it correct, because I mean, I ended up with a lot of potatoes. But the flavor, oh my goodness, you guys, I just couldn't even believe it. So it's got like this dark purple skin, and then it's got like a, a white yellowish flesh, and it is, so good, definitely one of our favorites, so that's number one going into the cart. The second thing on my list, it's the second because it's one of our favorites, is the Mexicold variety of peas, and that's also on Johnny Seeds. It's one of our favorites. I've loved peas since a little kid, and now my girls love peas too. So last year we tried that new variety, Mexicold, and it was new for us, it's not new for Johnny's. Um, and we tried it for the first time and it was so delicious. The peas were super large and they didn't have a bitter taste or anything. They were so sweet and so juicy and it, it was just amazing. So we're gonna definitely do those again. And then I'll also do a sugar snap just because it's also nice to have an edible pod one. But really, I could go with just Mexico, then I would be fine. Jackpot! And you can't just pick peas, you gotta eat them too. Mm -hmm. Right girls? Yeah. You got the big peas. Are they juicy? They're juicy, they sure are. Remember their faces, remember their face in home. trying this year is called Itachi. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correct. It's a white cucumber and I'm really excited to try the flavor. It says that it's great tasting, attractive, probably because it's you know got that different color of a skin on there and highly productive. It yields uniform 9 to 11 inch sweet and crispy fruits with small seed cavities and bitter free flavor. I like the sounds of that. excited to try this new uh, pickle this year called Cool Customer and because I waited too long it's out of stock it doesn't show it coming in at all it just says out of stock which means it most likely won't be restocked there this growing season so oh well I mean I guess that's what I get for waiting too long Ugh. All right, well, I guess I'm going to just try out um, the pickle Excelsior. I hope I'm saying that right. Another top pick that we cannot resist 
doing again this year is the pink Berkeley tomato. It's an heirloom tomato. It gets really big. It's pink and green striping. The flavor is amazing. Ooh, yeah. And that spicy bush basil we had last year was so amazing. It mounds so beautifully, and it looks like as if you perfectly shaped it, but that's literally its growing habit. And the flavor, it actually just tasted just like basil, a little bit more of a stronger flavor of basil with a spicy finish. my order on Johnny's for the day. I'm going to move on to Harris, so then I will show you some of those varieties as well, and then move on to Park Seed, and we'll just keep the, uh, the seed party going today. Now I've moved on to Harris Seed. Ooh, I like that catalog. That looks pretty sweet. I didn't get one of those in the mail. What's going on here? My last stop is Park Seed. Thank you so much for joining me today during my seed ordering process. And I hope I've uh, helped you guys decide on maybe a couple new varieties that you'll try out yourself in the garden. So uh, thank you so much and have an awesome day, you guys.